Hi guys, today we're taking a look at Govi's Flow Plus light bars. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So I have previously reviewed Govi's Flow Pro light bars, and I'll include a card in the corner there if you want to check out that review. But in essence, the key difference between the two is this one doesn't have a camera to sync in with your TV or monitors. General functionality is the same with both the products and they work with both the Google and Amazon to allow you to voice control it as well. There's no calibration required as it has no camera and this is a cheaper product coming in at $64, whereas the Flow Pro comes in at $79.99. Their RGB IC technology allows you to have segmented control of both the colors and brightness levels to allow for greater customization. So I'll be setting it up and showing you the options you have available. So let's begin by showing what you get in the packaging. You get a card which has the details for their support and a user manual. You get two light bars, two table stands, two mounts where you can place on a monitor or even a wall, a power adapter, and finally a control module. Very easy to get this connected up. DC connection point on this side, plug in the power. Length of the cable on this is 174 centimeters and the light bars get plugged in the other end via type C connection point. Cable length on this is 15 centimeters up to that point. And after that, you've got 120 centimeters for each light bar. So ample cable there. Let's make a start at getting this set up. So I've plugged in the power and this is what you initially presented with. Light levels on this are good. Now, if I turn them around, so the light that reflects off the wall, that give you a better idea of the colors we're gonna be getting when we're setting this up and testing it out. Now, coming over to my Android phone, going to the Play Store, that's the app you're after, Govi Home. Opening that up, you're gonna to need to turn on Bluetooth for this. So let me do that. And now if I click Add, Indoor Lighting, scroll down, and there it is, Govi Flow Plus Light Bar. Picked it up straight away via Bluetooth. Now selecting it, we can give it a name if we wanted to. I'll just click Done. Let's add it to our Wi-Fi network. Next, it's asking for Wi-Fi details. You don't have to do this but I'm going to add it in. Done to this. Now the app's trying to determine the position of the light bars. So if I try turning one off and the other one. So there you go. Positioning is correct for left and right. So I'll select position correct and there we have it up and running. So first of all going to settings over here. Standard sort of options you see. So you can rename it here. Switch positions if you've moved the light bars around. Change your Wi-Fi here and obviously upgrade your firmware and delete the device. Back from here. Power button turn it all off. Turn it back on again. You can control each individual light and then obviously turn them back on again. Firmware versions shown and the fact it's connected via Bluetooth. Going into effects lab, you've got different items in here and it gives you an easy way of getting the generic colors for certain items. So going over to natural, you can see for yourself different colors associated with a cloud and you can change the colors on the light bars by simply clicking it. Color representation on these light bars is really good. You can see for yourself and I hope the camera is giving it the justice it deserves. Back from here, then you've got timer, standard stuff here. You can set some timers. You can set wake up timers as well. So if you had this behind your bed, for example, you can get it going on and giving you some ambient light gradually getting brighter and brighter there's a sleeping mode as well so it will gradually go fainter and then eventually turn off back from here then you've got brightness levels let's turn it down working as expected then we've got mode and let's click on music music sync from device mic so this is actually using a microphone built onto the control box now if i click the button next to it it actually flips over to using the microphone on your phone you can adjust sensitivity levels with this and there's three different modes so party dynamic and calm flipping back to the microphone on the device and with this you've got vivid rhythm test one two three test one two three strike vibrate going back to vivid i like this one obviously you've got multiple colors going around and you can adjust sensitivity levels with this auto color so you can have it on a single color and you can even pick those colors you can see here very intuitive interface on here, do like it. And now going back to auto color, it will just alternate between the different colors. Color option here, and you've got recommended color schemes and going to scene, pick different ones from here. Color matching method, Let's just go for gradient on here, configuring color scheme. You can flip between the different predefined ones here. Now back from there. Now the cool thing about this is it's got segmented control. So looking at the picture, the light by itself has different segments and you can adjust the colors on this. So now if I select the whole bar, selecting blue you can see the whole lot's gone to blue you can change the brightness levels at certain points that if i deselect select one segment take the brightness down very impressive functionality on it now interestingly enough you can also turn off segments if i click on this one turn off the top segment i'll keep going 
and now we're left with just the bottom segment. And if I turn that off, it's completely off. And turning the bar around, there you go, you can see for yourself. Now if I turn them on, works really well. And if we put in some other colors with this, just fades in, very subtle how it is. Now scrolling down, you've got a quick color selection option here. Then you've got warm white, cold white. You've got a color wheel and selection of palettes there coming across, color wheel with names around it, and then just a clean color wheel here. Gives you a quick way of just navigating to different colors. Standard stuff, and then looking down below, you can have a selection of your own color palettes. Save my colors. So if you've set up some colors that you really like, you can save that away as well. And then coming back to the top, you've got scene, and these are default scenes they've got, so you can just flip between them. I'll show a couple of them. So movie, Aurora, Bloom, and Rainbow. Now if we flip this back, it gives a nice subtle effect on the wall as it bounces the colors off. Really cool effects on here. Going to DIY, this is where you can customize your own effects. So clicking the plus here, you can give it a name, icon, and then obviously add in your different color effects and different schemes on here. And coming down here, you can add in your different colors. We hit apply, you can have it transitioning a fade or a rainbow. Let's do that. It's a very subtle transitioning between yellow and red on there. So nice, so lots of functionality as you can see. So there you go, that's all the options you have available on this. You've seen for yourself how easy it is to set up and configure. And like I've already said, slightly different from the Flow Pro light bars where there's no camera on this to sync in with your TV or monitor. So if you wanted some ambient light in certain areas, this is the perfect solution to go for. And if you compare it to the bars from Philips Hue, the Philips Hue ones aren't capable of doing segmented control on there, just single static colors. So this is far more superior to them. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Detail are in the description below, including purchasing links or search Govi Flow Plus RGB IC light bars on Amazon to get it. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to be notified of my next release. Smash that like button as it really helps me out. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.